Hey there, there everyone. This may be kind of unexpected, but we're back, people. Yeah, we're back. So, um, yeah, let's carry on. I haven't really checked this, have I? Nope, you just ran here, started shooting enemies around and rushed to the control point. Yeah, pretty much just came in here and shot everything down, haven't I? This thing changes shape every time I come here, does, doesn't it? I don't have enough data to either confirm or deny your theory, but I remember there's a file that says it shifts when not observed, a bit like Weeping Angels in Doctor Who. I don't know, I remember it different, but maybe I'm wrong. If you were to re-establish a connection to my data <coughs> core, I could help you. Oh, there's something to watch down there. During an AWE investigation, our agents discovered a light switch cord in a Butte bungalow closet. They pulled the cord and were instantly transported to the Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream like haze. Inside, they found a door marked with an inverted black pyramid. And just like that, it, it led back to the oldest house, some 2,000 miles from Montana. N now we're finding the cord in increasing numbers throughout the Bureau. Somehow the two places, they, they became in tune to each other. The, the actual physical location of the ocean view is, is, is a mystery. Stepping beyond its walls has so far proven impossible. A place of power, like the oldest house. Okay, um, it's weird to find this one here, but we've been there twice already, I think. These are peaks of the astral plane. I just want to see it from uh, from as near as possible. Zooming in. The one on the far right is some lake. I'm not sure I know the other people. Some of them have got like some kind of a weird black thing. Maybe it's the, an effect of the photo compression. This blonde hair looks like body, Bodis Johnson. I wonder what kind of data you're hoping to get out of that picture. Yeah. If I mean, I don't know how worth it is to actually check for these people here. Oh, but I remember I left a lot of stuff before, haven't I? Because I was running to come this side. Structural analysis, the atlas, summary. The atlas is a physical expression created by the oldest house. Its purpose and function are currently unknown. 
The specific shape and dimensions of the atlas, see file ATL-03 for said dimensions, seem to indicate a more explicit purpose than the oldest house's usual walls, floors, or shifts. The atlas changes form, but resists observation when doing so. No visual observation has been made during its change, and it only ever occurs between frames when monitored by surveillance cameras. A previous theory was that this change corresponds to house shifts and that the atlas is a redacted of the redacted itself. However the shape changes do not occur at the same time as the building shifts, which makes this theory doubtful. Structurally the atlas is made of the same redacted material as the rest of the oldest house. Further observation will hopefully aid in discovering its purpose. Refer to file 8-37-3592 for full report. Yeah, the idea that it could be the oldest house is actually a very good idea, even though, as they mentioned, there is some issues with that. This is the file I told you about before. Claudia? Doesn't do anything. Oh, no, it works. Oh, I bypassed that door, basically. Okay. Not all. Now. Reminder If the contents of your workspace have been rearranged, removed, added to, or altered in any other way, you should immediately leave the area while speaking to yourself in a reassuring tone. This will not only keep you calm, but also the room. Thank you for your attention. Keeping the room calm. They take the oldest house as if it has... Not only a life of itself, but a, a personality almost. to see you're still you. Hey, thanks for bringing down that... whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? The truth is harsh, but these people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the Bureau is lost. We need Blackrock Prism to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check darling Black Rock Lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Another day at the FBC. But Darling's lab is just past Black Rock processing. I got good news and I got bad news on that front. Good news is, it's right down the hall. Bad news is, a hiss monster has decided to move in, so that's great. Monster. That's what the Rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and... Well, no one's seen him since. But hey, at least we got you, our fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. They don't know how I failed people. You've done a good job here, Arish, but you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. 
Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. Well, bullet is not what I gotta necessarily use. Ranger Squad Charlie 7 returned from an expedition into the quarry threshold just after 0500 Zulu. Can you please state your names and describe the purpose of your expedition? Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Well. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates G29. Second Medic. objective, as always, was to hits. find a route we from the threshold station entrance ASAP. and maintenance but to the formation. I don't think they're stable enough to move. Secondary yeah. objective was not they're gonna success. Have to be. We are moving out, and I am not leaving them behind. And did you encounter any previously unrecorded event or entity while inside the threshold? No, nothing. Do you think we should tell them about the mermaid? Excuse me? Yeah, the mermaid. Horowitz here found this mermaid in the quarry, just sitting on some black rock. She was singing this beautiful song, and he was overcome with desire. Hey, remember the deal. You kill a hiss, oh, I buy so a shot. Alluring. I'd say she was more enchanting than alluring. Fine, enchanting. Um, did you tell your CO about this? No. Because it didn't happen. <laughs> Nothing happened. As usual, the quarry is full of rocks. That's it. Can we go now? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. Fine. I'm not doing so hot. You're fine. We'll push through this. The hiss of the ones doing the pushing, Doc. Have you noticed the recent tension between Trench and Darling? They've both been acting odd lately. Trench concerns me the most. His sudden hostility towards Darling's project is very unlike him. He was the one to approve all this Hedron research in the first place, but after Darling unveiled those HRAs, he was livid. I personally don't see any reason not to equip Bureau staff with an additional protective device, especially not if it's as strong as Darling says. What do you make of this? Have you seen anything from either of them that strikes you as odd? Let's talk in person soon, before the next Bureau Heads meeting. M. I don't know why, but it's better if I don't say anything about that. Yeah, well, I know why I won't say, because if you didn't see this game, I, I actually, we actually spoiled quite a few things already that we shouldn't have. Wow, I can say he suffered. Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. No, it was not. Swan boat, AI 19 KE. Containment procedure, no unique procedures required. Description slash altered effect. Item is made of fiberglass, painted to resemble a swan. Foot pedals allow the item to propel forward in water. The item emits a pulse of physical force at an estimated force of redacted, possible connection to OOP5. Measuring the exact force created by the item has been hindered by concerns from the Human Resources Department. Background. The item was seized from an activity rental service called Redacted located on Lake Redacted on Vancouver Island, Canada, after it ejected numerous riders over the course of a summer, bringing the boat to the attention of the media. The item was transported to the Bureau by helicopter. A containment specialist accompanied it, sent to recite Formula C.9 through 32 recursively. What occurred in the helicopter is not known, but all agents were lost in the crash. The item was recovered and then transported by train. It arrived at the Bureau without further incident. Another weird object. Okay, these I remember. This was tough, you especially me now. You showed the HRA when I first got here, and the machine that makes them. Can you help me find a prism? This one is gonna be tough. Wait, they're shattered. <laughs>
Oof. Fortunately, he hit me only once. I'm telling you, that thing. Not easy. Stuff up there? Our camps have never noticed that. Consider it is up high enough to be virtually invisible. Oh, it's because I cannot get in anyways. As if that were the first room you missed. You find new ones with every playthrough. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be the first room I ever noticed. That is also true. This game does a very good job at putting hiding places. Conditions when the frequencies match, other dimensions leak in. We call these areas thresholds. The quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's that's where Black Rock comes from. You Extra heard that too, right? Matter. Black Rock comes from the threshold. Ari. Frequencies. Uh, so the, the prisms must be there too. Contained. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many dangerous things we absolutely need to keep in check. That's what the Black Rock Line fire breaks are about. The Panopticon container uh, cells. Sorry to interrupt, sir, but I need the code for the body elevator. Oh, uh, Emily. The codes. Black Rock 665. Neighbor of the Beast. Get it? <laughs> We can do that again. I did like the um, kindness of uh, Emily. <laughs> Darling's key. Nice. This should get us into the quarry. Field research on his entity, his distorted agent, confidential summary. His distorted agents are able to render themselves invisible and emit a powerful concussive blast when in close range of their target. Curiously, the His distorted is apparently not able to utilize both abilities at once. It must make itself visible when it goes on the offensive. The His distorted is unique in the fact that it wields a paranatural ability previously unknown to the Bureau, perhaps tapping into a yet undiscovered object of power? How does this invisibility work? Does the distorted become resonance temporarily? Does it use his resonance to refract light? The physical deformation of this particular his entity is noteworthy in its thoroughness. Clearly the human host would have died from such extreme alteration, which prompts the question, are the corrupted simply animated corpses? Refer to file redacted for full report. I thought it gave me something to read, but I had only that about the new monster. I've already seen this somewhere. Utilization of Paranatural Elements, Black Rock, Summary Black Rock has allowed the Bureau to make great strides in containment procedures since it was first discovered. This report will examine how its very structure is comprised of redacted density that nullifies all resonances with a range of redacted to redacted hertz. Bureau innovations that incorporate Black Rock will be analyzed, most notably the firebreaks, feats of engineering designed to contain any future outbreaks, attacks, or other internal threats. The goal of this report is to encourage Bureau staff to explore further innovations using BlackRock, as work in that field has markedly slowed in recent years. Refer to file 5-93-1733 for full report. Okay. Let's get Leon. Everything here is crazy. Weird, but it feels right. crazy. Like right. how the world should be. I'm really? in an infinite building leading to different dimensions, and I never want to leave. Even with all the horror, happy. It feels sane. Well, nobody said just you're not right sane, time. it's just.
I mean, nobody ever said she's crazy, but... Having to mention it doesn't make you feel like she wants to think she's... Well, you know what I meant. I wait before I do this. I wanna open this passage. Is the door doesn't doesn't know if, if it wants to stay open or not? Not even sure. Does it stay open once I I guess? Yeah, it does. The walls here? Not nothing. Yeah. Okay, okay, I, I probably deserve that. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Just wanted to take a dive, I suppose. What? Why? I did I fall? It didn't load this? The game glitched, it wasn't me. Oh, now I understand why these doors don't open right away. It's because the game is loading whatever is behind it. Because it's connected in a way that requires it to load in the previous room. It makes sense now why I fell so stupidly. Yeah, cause you never do anything stupid. Yeah, well, I mean, for once that is not my fault. Let me have that. Can I be given back access to my core? Come on, I promise I won't try to get myself installed on every computer connected to the internet again. Also, I can go back there. Anything nice to pick up to throw at the guy? Forklift? Headshot. <laughs> I'm good at this. Yeah, I guess you mastered the hide behind the corner technique. So yeah, you're quite good. Come on, I am good at this. Okay, without sarcasm now. You didn't really fight them. If there's anything I can give you credit for is for the consistent coward behavior. Adding to that, you're shooting at harmless people. Why? Because you never know. Oh, look at this. Zooming in. If anyone needs explaining, I think I can do that. You are looking at a person who seems to be emitting energy, and apparently resides inside the NCS. More about him in a future lore video. Dynamic Energy Extraction and Conversion, Redacted Sarcophagus Container, NSC. Summary. The NSC was designed by order of Deputy Chief Trench shortly before he became director. The container provides a safe method of extraction of Redacted's excess energy output while acting as a humane way to house him. The coolant pumps keep the container, and its Redacted, from overheating while the energy is siphoned. The energy is then conducted to the converters, where it is rendered into a Redacted through the use of turbine generators. 
the electricity produced powers the entire bureau, making us completely self-sufficient and effectively invisible on the New York City grid. After NSC 01's disappearance by some unknown manifestation of Redacted's power, the occupant was restrained and a second model was built. NSC 02 possesses built-in spatial anchors that are designed to prevent any translocative effect from its occupant. Refer to file 9-23-0544 for full report. Oh yeah, that guy was powerful, but well, not as powerful as me. Look at the size of this place. There's so much verticality. Definitely a good hiding spot for extra content and secrets. Yeah, this place is gonna be fun to check once we can fly. The Oscillator, AI-13, KE, Supplementary Materials Extract from Formal Interdepartmental Complaint The notion of, fan death, has now become widely known in the region, since foreign investigator redacted met with a local journalist to explain how electric fans operate at speeds that may suffocate users by overly disturbing the air. As our agency is still young, we must take care to avoid missteps. Any explanation given to the public must provide sufficient yet vague rationale that will reaffirm their certainty that ours is a stable, controlled world. We must tread carefully, especially in this increasingly technological world, with the radio and other innovations allowing information to travel at speeds previously undreamt of. This is precisely why we insist that our department handle all communication with public bodies. With all due respect, William S. Powers, head of the Department of Public Knowledge and Diversions. <laughs> This fan is so powerful, if you are on the wrong side of it, it's gonna take the air off you. <laughs> yeah, this is not fit to laugh, but even just the notion. Oh, only from the other side? Wait. Okay, there's nothing. Just look like a nice place to hide something, you know. Elevator's broken. Oh, yeah. Gotta get down the old-fashioned way. fell in between the pipes. I did see another one, haven't I? I'm quite certain I've seen another one. Oh yeah, there you go.
don't even see it anymore. Stubborn. Oh, this place doesn't look too cozy. Okay, that was too easy to ask me actually. Okay, the black rock quarry. So I'd say we collect all we can, we leave it long for it because we haven't got much time left, what you reckon? I think I don't have enough data to compute what would be the best solution, so I'd suggest giving me access to my data core. Just wanna make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. Stop ignoring me, I apologize haven't I? Let's go. I hate when I cannot see where I'm going, but it's fine, please carry on. Whatever they are, they don't seem to be following. We need additional diamond blades ASAP, continuous rim this time to get the clean cut research wants. This black rock shit is tough. We're going through blades like we're made of the damn things. The dimensions for these slabs of black rock they want are outrageous. For all the grief they're causing me, these fire breaks better fucking work a treat. Go ahead and double the last order. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ma have to make your read so fast. As if you can force me. Don't jump too much, you idiot. Keeps telling me I'm still under attack. I mean, I probably am, I just don't understand where from. And I also cannot do much here because I cannot fly. Just you. Ok, 
can assure you, nobody was expecting any of this. Okay, it's no point to go searching for stuff because I know this place well again already and there's a match to check on this. ground, just see higher ground. dodge by the way Oh, this makes it so much better. She's still having the weapon up. Ah, oh, okay. No, she's still she's still damn big. It. There are still people around. Okay, she stopped now. Incident report re quarry operations summary. During my weekly safety inspection to the quarry threshold, I discovered the entire crew in a state of redacted. The whole team was redacted, aligned and staring in a uniform direction, the city in the distance. Despite my most vocal efforts to gain their attention, they remained redacted for more than redacted minutes until I had to resort to literally redacted. Afterwards, they were dazed and could not provide any rationale for their behavior or any specific memories of engaging in it. My official recommendation for any crew working in a threshold area is to either shorten the length of their shifts or to carry out mandatory psychological evaluations on a weekly basis, or preferably both. And maybe we should order another expedition to the city. Refer to file 5-58-3096 for full report. Okay people, let's get going. Let's go. Oh, I know that's gonna be a hell to is. run. Right where you led me. HRAs, the prisms, they mean something to you. I sell spikes. I need to get this prism to Marshall before it's too late. HRAs, then do.
all bureau personnel are reminded to kindly not smoke in the quarry. Even though the quarry area is technically an outdoor space, it is still a part of the bureau and therefore the no smoking rule does apply. Not only is it considerate towards your fellow employees to refrain from inflicting the harm of secondhand smoke, it is also prudent to avoid any risk of gas fires, unforeseen threshold reactions, and possible creation of altered receptacles, under no circumstances should cigarette butts be left in the quarry. Thank you for your understanding. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's more. They're basically everywhere now. Ah, uh, F this. No, wrong. Come on, come on, come on. Oof. Yeah, we did it. Okay guys, we did it, what this means I can stop playing. Yep, now we can start editing this. Yep, once again everyone, thank you very much for watching, subscribe if you want to, put a like if you want to, comment if you want to. I don't care, I just want my data core back. Don't be rude. Anyways, yep, yeah, um, see you soon, I guess. Bye bye. Look, I know you're cross, but I promise I didn't want to control people, they're computers only.